Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hopefully you had a productive week behind you and that you're looking forward to get your weekends started. But first, as always, a brand new challenge is upon us and this time we are taken to Bespin where we have to take down a squad of Mandalorians led by Maul and we do have to use Tuscans to get max rewards so as always I'll cover the modifiers and the feats and then show you the battles so I've got two battles for you so the first one will be Tuscan and then the other one will be dealing with the remaining uh, feats now unfortunately today it looks like you will need to have a solid Tuscan squad to be able to survive not sure what the minimum requirement will be for Tuscans mine will be all relic 5 and they kind of barely made it um, so not sure even gear 12 will be enough anyway let me know in the comments below with what kind of Tuscans you guys were able to get this done if you can't get max crate no need to stress just do the best that you can as long as you get uh, your two omicrons you should be good uh, to go and start your weekends okay uh, let's go have a look first at the modifiers so we have decadence uh, now the main thing really here is uh, a reduced accuracy by 15 percent so they'll just be a little bit more dodging than usual that really is the main thing from this modifier the rest of the collected wealth doesn't really i think impact the battle all that much then we've got a tuscan modifier it's a very powerful one we get lots of extra health lots of defense speed and of course we get the ambush mechanics uh, so that the weakest uh, enemy will get ambushed on them and then we should be able to ignore the taunt and keep going after the ambushed enemy and then as well every time we hit them we gain extra stacks of momentum uh, so it's a pretty nice one i guess modifier for us and then as well the code so that's the modifier for mandalorians uh, any time they get damage all of them gain a stack of clan loyalty and for each of the stacks of clan loyalty uh, most annoyingly they are getting counter chance uh, however, uh, in certain situations, we'll be able to use uh, this uh, modifier against them. More about that uh, later. Um, so let's go have a look now as well at the feats. So we have to win with a full team of Tuscans. Duh, it's a Tuscan challenge. We have to complete the battle, yeah. And then we have to inflict damage over time 30 times. But oh, did we have this just feat on Monday? Is CG running out of ideas for feats or what? And yeah, the no leader feat. I think that's <laughs> everyone's favorite, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, let me show you my Tuscans first. We'll do that one. Um, so mine are all Relic 5 and they kind of barely made it. But it's true, I don't have amazing mods. Them just like some random 5 dot mods. So nothing too crazy. Um, so I had a play around. I did, I think, five attempts and I was able to win two out of five. So you may need to restart a couple of times for RNG to align. Uh, but because of all this momentum, everybody just kind of keeps stunning themselves. Um, of course, there, Maul, when he's got more than two stacks of anguish, he can't be stunned. And then Paz, uh, because he's the healthiest, he was able to cleanse that off. Now, the most, most annoying thing here is that we are not able to uh, target the ambushed enemy which in this case is Mandalorian uh, because while we can ignore taunts be with ambushed we cannot looks like ignore resilient defense that Paz keeps getting so as you can see now that uh, Paz dropped resilient defense I was actually able to go after the ambushed enemy uh, now the opening you just have to survive a couple of rounds uh, until Maul goes down, Paz goes down and then you know once those two go down from damage over times uh, you should be good to go here. Uh, not really much to say just you know uh, keep playing until I guess RNG lines up for you as mentioned before. I was able to complete it two out of five times so again you know you may need to restart a couple of times uh, but on the, it would be I guess easier if actually we would be able to target the ambushed enemy uh, but looks like resilient defense you know wasn't coded um, as a part of ambushed mechanics. I don't know is the bug working as intended I don't know uh, you know you still be able to get through these guys. Uh, and this is where, where you can now see that the clan loyalty, the modifier, we're using it against them because they have counter chance, then they hit us back and then they stun themselves um, because obviously we got more than 10 stacks of momentum on us. So kind of clan loyalty really kind of working against them uh, in today's challenge. So similar like we had 
uh, with uh, Aiden, the Ilum modifier was kind of shutting Aiden down. So it's like two challenges in a row where actually we do get a nice big help from the modifiers for a change. So this for me completed the Tuscans as well as the damage over time feat. So no, only no leader remaining. Um, now as always, uh, usually for the no leader, Malak is our go-to unit. So um, I, again, I tried Malak. Uh, the similar Tuscans, a bit of RNG in this one for me. Again, I tried a few times and I think again, I, I won like two out of six, two out of seven. So again, you may need to a little bit restart because it really depends like uh, who more goes uh, in the opening sequence who, who more targets first um, so if you obviously already done damage over time feat uh, with your Tuscans as I have you don't need to have Vader in there this team is just for those that obviously your Tuscans uh, can't make it on tier 10 and you still need to do no leader and damage over time so obviously to get your two Omicrons that's why I'm including Vader otherwise you know maybe a pre-taunting tank instead of Vader could be a good option to get this done but anyway uh, let's hop in the battle and you will see how this one go so we'll just make sure that Mala keeps taunting and fearing everybody while Maul there uh, he can't be stunned when he's got more than three stacks of anguish he can be feared so we'll be using, utilizing this against them anyway let's go into merciless and let's go ahead and start doing force crush now we go now malak has got taunt so whenever somebody counterattacks, uh when they crit malak they will feel themselves so that's what we gotta now manage here uh malak taunt that he has taunt more, uh, all the times pretty much and then whoever counterattacks hits him back will fear themselves uh, so the more we hit them the more stacks of clan loyalty will get the more counter chance they will have and then Malak can keep taunting over and over again okay uh, so throne obviously is faster than Treya so you will want to swap Termeter with Treya so Treya can drop an isolate on, on Paz and now we can go ahead and drop a fracture on Maul so we kind of neutralize the main two threats here with Paz and Maul and now we'll have to uh, get rid of Maul before he actually gets out of fracture so let's just go ahead and do a drain uh, let's push back Termeter on Jung over there uh, get a shock out so Mala gets the taunt again there we go another round of Merslet keep those damage over time stacking um, I think this is my third already force crush so this should now complete damage over time so I think at this point so now we just have to win the battle to get the no leader feat as well wasn't quite enough there to finish off Maul will this do it not quite how about this there we go Maul is down uh, so at this point obviously things will be much easier we don't need to worry about Maul we just have to a little bit again manage uh, especially Django he can still do some big damage uh, and Mando's Whistling Birds you know they can do okay damage um, but anyway let's go ahead uh, swap Termeter here uh, with Malak uh, let's get a shock out so we get a taunt again and we can go ahead finish off Mando there uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah drop a fracture on Django you know he's the only one that's got some damage now on this team and otherwise there you go we got counter attacks that's what i'm mentioning we're kind of using their modifier against them that gives them counter chance then they're constantly counter attacking and then obviously malak constantly fearing them constantly making sure he's got taunt up we go another merciless uh, we just go around get all these mandalorians down there we go django can't counter attack because he's fractured anyways uh, let's go ahead tap pass over there get a shock up so we again uh, get a taunt on malak um, there we can actually stun with the basic uh, with thrown on who's ever got ability block on them that was able there to stun Django. let's drop another force crush more damage over times building up let's go into merciless let's go ahead chuck this at Django. he's down and from here on out again we can just hit autoplay and we should be good to go to get here the no leader feat as well as damage over times so again a bit of an rng in this one um ideally they go after malak so he constantly fears them at the start of the battle uh, if not uh, you can drop out vader maybe uh, add a pre-taunt um, so that you get the no leader feat done and then you can get damage over feat done like with somebody in the leading slot so you can really split these two teams but just in the interest of making this video not too long i just combined the no leader and 
damage or toll over time feed but if you're struggling uh, you can do those in two separate battles to make it easier for you all right guys so that's all for today's video hopefully it was useful and helpful just showing you what i was able to do without using galactic legends as always let me know how you guys are getting on but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends